Run that by me one more time. You Have you ever rode on a sled? I have been sledding. I have never been sled riding. Okay, it's like a sleigh ride, sled riding. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I mean, no you one know, says you... sled riding. I do. I did. Well, listen, honey, you're not <laughs> the prime <laughs> example of proper speech. Listen, I've said sledding before. Yeah. I mean, I use them interchangeably, I guess. Well, but uh, that would be fine if you just cut out sled riding and just here's use a, sledding. Here, here's the difference here, and maybe this is where I was coming from. Let me unpack this a little bit please yes unpack it for me when i say sledding it Uh to me for me what that would mean is i'm on a sled and i'm traversing down a a a hillside or a slope of some sort okay okay now sled riding which is what i was actually doing when this incident occurred uh would be you're on a flat surface and perhaps you're being pulled by a vehicle or an animal what the fuck thrown around by another person, perhaps. I think there are different words for all of those things. What 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 words? What are these words? <laughs> like being pulled behind a vehicle. I think I'd call yeah. that being pulled on a sled behind a vehicle. That's not sled riding. That, that's very wordy. <laughs> Listen, I'm being pulled yeah, but behind if you a say vehicle. Sled riding, on a sled. No one's mind is going to. Oh, I'm being pulled by a vehicle or by dogs or by humans. Like they just think you're fucking up sledding. I think I think they would be able to put the. I think most people would realize. Oh, he was riding on a sled. A sled was in motion, and he was on top of it, thus riding it. Yeah, but they would assume that you're just sledding, not being pulled by something. And then they'd be like, "Why doesn't he just say sledding?" I don't know. Look, this is up to the listeners <laughs> <laughs> to decide. Um, tell me, listeners, tell is me. sled riding a term? <laughs> I think it is. I'm going to Google this bitch right now. Well, I, I mean, something will come up. Yeah, sled riding. But that doesn't mean anyone says it. Sled riding at Mill Creek Mall. Sled uh. <laughs> University students sled riding. I, oh, look at this. Iowa sled riding hills. Snow oh, sledding. Oh, shit. Oh, snow Iowa. sledding. Yeah, but they're called the Iowa sled riding hills. Oh my god. I think I think you're the one that's been fucked up this entire time. Well, I have been, but not in this regard. I I uh I'm gonna, I may disagree. I don't I'm not really like I don't have any uh steak steak in uh sled riding being correct, but uh I do see some uh I do have what's Speaking. the Wicca? What's we go to the Wikipedia here and see what this shit says? What's the Wicca? Yeah. Uh, let's see, sledding, sledging, or slaying. None of <laughs> these the, are sled riding. Who the fuck would say sledging? What is that? Sledging. Yeah, that sounds like a sledgehammer. Um, sounds like a totally different activity. But it's a thing. Um, None of those words were sled riding. I'm sure it's uh, somewhere on here. Mm-hmm. Sure. I don't know. I feel like it's fucking... Uh, it works for me. Dude, have you ever heard of extreme sledding? Uh, is that just, like, sledding, but more intense? Yeah, you, like, do flips. Sorry, wait, shit. hang on. Did you mean extreme sled riding? Yes, actually. Um, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm being sled-shamed right now. Um, <laughs> not gonna... Sled-shaming isn't cool. It's not cool, and I'm not... 2019. For it. Um, Go on. What What's say? extreme sledding? Oh, they just do flips and shit. Here, what was I gonna say? What the fuck? I can't believe I used to be a person that would would go sledding. Yeah, here's what I was going to post to you as a question. How much money would it take to get you to go sledding now? Jesus. Well, here's the thing. It depends. It does really depend on, like, the people. If some really cool people are like, hey, you want to go sledding? I might say, yeah. I might not be, like, I would never come up with this idea. I wouldn't volunteer hey, Chet, it. Chet, yeah. do you want to go sledding? Yeah, but I don't think you're being honest. I don't. Oh, <laughs> but you do think I'm really cool people. If I was I mean, genuine, you'd go. I'd go. I it definitely. I would go with you. Yeah, I need to give us uh, something to fucking talk about on this show. That's Maybe true. We, we God could knows it. we haven't had anything to discuss in several months. We could do it live from the slopes. Um, <laughs> I, I just did, ride down with my little mic. I did have a period of my life when I was like, I don't know a young eight, nine, ten, where I was like very, I had a thing where I really liked movies about skiing. 
Yeah. Um, like Ski Patrol, Ski School, uh, all those movies. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Uh, no. They never also, even heard of them. They also have a lot of breasts in them. That could have been the other reason I like oh, them. Oh, hell yeah. I've never thought of a like correlation between skiing and tits, but I'm for it. Oh, okay. yeah, because all these hot chicks, you go to vacation to Aspen, you're fucking... Yeah, where it's fucking cold. Yeah, but you go into the lodge, you rent a fucking cabin. Oh, you go into that their sauna. And those, like, Nordic-type women like to ski a lot. Um... <laughs> You know those Nordic sluts. You know them Nordic sluts. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, Ski Patrol, Ski School, Aspen Extreme, all great. <laughs> all Holy great films. shit. You had quite a list real quick there. Oh, I told you. I went through a phase. I was like, oh shit, man. These skiing movies are just cool because it's like skiing's like classy. It's like kind of a classy sport. You know, yeah. I don't know why. Fuck it. It's one of those, you know, it's like the snow tennis yes i was thinking like um golf yeah or golf i actually i know a lot of ratchet ass people that play golf so i don't yeah i think that's, that's been infiltrated by the lower classes <laughs> so i don't think we're gonna count that snow anymore tennis. right snow now tennis yeah. right now you have tennis and you have skiing and then who knows how long it's gonna last oh not um, very because we're coming for you bitch the coming. millennials we're coming for you i mean Taking all your high class shit. God, I don't want to do tennis or fucking be out in the snow skiing. <laughs> I'm not doing either, but someone. I'd sure as shit rather do tennis. I kind of like tennis. I like tennis. I have a rack. Racket. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> a tennis <laughs> racket. I also yeah. have a rack um, and a tennis racket. Yeah. I uh yeah I uh, haven't played in several years, but uh. Yeah, I probably yeah. haven't played since like college. There was a, a period there maybe like 10 or 12 years ago when me and my friends would play a lot during the summer, but uh, yeah. not anymore. But oh, yeah. God. Oh, I I'm... lied. I have played since college. played oh. like a few years ago. Oh, yeah. oh okay. That's how... all. I just remembered that suddenly. How was it? But it's one occasion. Um, It was fine. Okay. Yeah. I know. Uh, maybe like 10 years ago, Um, I remember this because anytime anyone asks me to play any kind of sport, I remember it because it's... Like terrible first, yeah i'm like no yeah, why it's would like you a ever traumatic event <laughs> why would you ask why would you think i would do that but like someone had started like an adult like uh Ooh, um what sexy. do you call it? an adult yeah um a volleyball league group meetup Ugh. i don't know what the fuck fucking and, hate leagues and this place i was living in they're like you want to join up i was like fuck no no Anyways, I don't know where I was going with that story other than don't invite me. I'd rather me. slowly burn to death. Yeah. Well, no. Honestly, I'd play volleyball before I did. <laughs> but on a league? <laughs> I don't know. I was, a, I was in a fucking bowling league back in uh, high school or some bullshit. That'd be dope, though. I wasn't any good. Because you know who plays bowling? Fi people that are fine to be around. Like, they might be people. nerdy and awkward. Or maybe kind of chubby, but they're not. They're not annoying, and they're not super obnoxious about it. They're not snobby. Like you're just bowling. You know, if you're doing fucking a volleyball league, like those people are gonna be intense and like pumped, and they're probably a bunch of douchebags with backwards hats and no shirts, going, "Bro, I just don't need it." I mean, yeah, I guess maybe. Call me judgmental. I don't need yeah, it. Yeah, man, you get real judgy on them fucking volleyball players. <laughs> I just, I've always cringed at the idea of being in an anything league. Like people have tried to get me to do like a softball league, and I was like, absolutely not. Well, here's not happening. And uh, listen, I've lived by this rule f for my entire life. I, yeah. I, I don't hate. I don't hate the player. I hate the game. <laughs> so. I don't hate the game itself. Even I just hate the socializing. Yeah, well, that's part of the the game. It's like you got so you got to socialize. You got to pretend that we want to win. Some people actually do want to win. I'm like, you're fucking psychotic. Yeah, um, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I was like, um, then I look really psychotic because I'm like, I'm fucking, I don't give a fuck. I, we can yeah. lose this motherfucker and I'll be oh. just the same. All I'm doing here is trying to forget that I hate my life, yeah. okay? <laughs> Jesus. Um, I don't really what, hate my life. Where are we going? Oh, um, I was going to ask you a question. Okay. Yeah, shoot. Would you rather... Okay. Would you rather burn to death or freeze to death? Oof. 
I think. Oh, Jesus. I I fucking freeze. You're gonna go into, you're gonna get hyperthermic and you're not gonna fucking remember half of it. Um, Damn. Burning this sounds terrible. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I feel like it'd be faster. I don't know. Will it? Oh. Like if I'm engulfed in flames, yeah. I don't, would I? I don't think I'd make it longer than a minute, would I? True. I mean, I feel like you definitely are gonna. It'd suffer. be terrible. I feel like you're gonna suffer more freezing, but I feel yeah, like, like, like longer. But I feel like the extreme pain that you feel for the first thirty seconds or a minute or three minutes of burning, of burning is gonna be yeah. too much. I don't want to end with that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's like it's the same amount of pain. It's just you can either have it all at once or like slowly spread out over a few hours. And just the way I live my life, I seem to like to suffer, so I feel like I would enjoy... <laughs> You're right, you should freeze to death. This is bullshit, why am I freezing to death? The yeah, fuck? then you have time to, like, mull over it and get all fucking mo yeah. <laughs> mopey. That's the word I was looking for, mopey. <laughs> I'm fucking dying, but yeah, I'm mopey. <laughs> like, I have any reason. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I want just long enough to, like, realize that I'm dying and be like, well, fuck, this sucks, and then be dead. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, burning just, well, I don't know. I've got burnt before, and it hurts, so. Yeah, I, but I, I also, I've I just cold. so thoroughly hate being cold that I don't want to die that way. <laughs> True, I hate it, but it hasn't hurt me yet. Well, it's yeah. hurt me emotionally, but not physically. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, the more I think about it, sledding kind of sounds fun. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I hope you find someone really cool to go with, because it know, ain't I me. Do. I would always hate it, though, because sometimes, like, you would, like, fucking fall, or you'd do something, or the fucking snow would shoot up, and it'd go down your fucking pant leg or something. Yes. It'd get all fucking cold. And then, like, I feel like I'd be the person that would get cold first, and I'd want to leave, and all your friends are having a fucking gay old time. Yeah. I want to fucking just go down this hill some more. They're fucking yeah, down I'm there. like, can we be done here? Yeah, they're down there building a fucking ramp. And you're like, what the? I don't want... Yeah, please, I want to launch off this fucker, break my fucking neck. Why I won't feel this anymore. <laughs> and It'd freeze be... to death. Be great. <laughs> freeze but, to um, death out here. We would, uh, the prime place to, to sled in my hometown was the fucking cemetery. So it was fucking awesome. You'd be fucking dodging tombstones and fucking ah! ramping over those things and whatnot. Um, Honestly, that's badass. Great place. Well, I had a great hill. Is a is very steep. Very very uh, yeah, just steep. What else do you need with a hill? Yeah, not much, honestly. Yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the bitch. There's such, there's such a terrible ratio of like work to pay off with sledding. Cause you get to sled for like thirty seconds and you gotta trudge up that fucking hill for two minutes. Oh, and you damn. get sled for 30 seconds and you got to trudge yeah. up that goddamn hill for two minutes. That's the Although, worst. the more I think about it, the more I think maybe I should go sledding. Cause that's a good ass workout. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. You just got to, I mean, fuck, dude. Um, and maybe it's not that bad, but I'm going to have to go buy a snowsuit. I don't got that. I have to buy some fucking uh, gloves, goggles, uh Earmuffs. Oh, you want goggles for this? Yeah, because that snow will shoot up in your face. You can't see shit. Your <laughs> you know, maybe alarming. maybe I could enjoy sledding if I had all this garb that you're talking about. Because in my mind, I'm just wearing a snow sho snow shoe, snow <laughs> suit, <laughs> and my fucking face is freezing because I've just got a hood and like a headband on. Yeah, you got to get fucking geared up. Yeah, then maybe I could love it. Yeah. Um. I'm not saying I'll never do it again in, in my life. You know what? I actually do enjoy skiing. We went on a full, a few, full, what the fuck? We went on a few <laughs> hard pool trips, went skiing a couple yeah. times. I enjoyed it. Yeah, but skiing's nice because you get the ski lift. True. True. I'm so, I don't know. I might go skiing. I might just, maybe I'll just do that instead of the sledding. You know what the best is though? Tubing. Because it's like sledding, but you get lifted oh, back well, up the hill. <laughs> shit. Yeah. I, maybe I'll do that too. Fuck, I'll be, yeah. that, I'll be that fucker down on this fucking ski hill with a fucking tube. And they're like, dude, that ain't allowed. I'm like, fuck. I own this. Fuck mountain. you. Both of you. <laughs> 25. <laughs> fucking Nordics. Um, <laughs> Nordic sluts. Put Nordic your tits sluts. away. Get your tits out Actually, you. put them back out. Let daddy see them. He, uh, I'm not a fucking creep, but if you wanted to play, if you no, wanted to I'm that, daddy. Oh, you're daddy. Yeah, you are daddy, of yeah. course. I'm like, I listen, know, yeah. I, I don't know what the fuck her deal is. <laughs> but show her your tits. Go yeah, already. Just, yeah, I mean, you might as well. Get it over with. She's um, not going to stop asking. Yeah, trust me, I know. It's 
<laughs> Bitch has been hounding me to see my tits for years. <laughs> Very shameful. Uh, yeah. My God. Um. So what's going on, man? Hey. Um, hey. This is a touchy subject, kind of, but it's in the news. And I've been following. I'm ready. It. I'm ready. Oh, oh is it, it about blackface? No, but it's about oh. black person. It's... Oh shit! Okay. Have you have you uh, followed about? Uh, this actor that was uh, assaulted in Chicago. Have you heard anything about this? Have no. You the news? Uh-uh. Okay. What's up? Have you ever watched the show Empire? No. Okay. Neither. Yeah. Neither have I. Might be because we're white, or we just don't watch TV. I don't know. Um. Was is here? I know there's a lot to say. This guy, <laughs> his name's Jesse, with a U. Jesse. Jesse. I'm probably saying Jus- his name. Juicy. 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 Listen, dude, I'm saying your name wrong, and I apologize for that. Because we're white, and we don't watch yeah. TV. And I, and there's been, I watched it, I, wa- I did watch the TV interview that he did, and I, they may have said his name. I think we're pretty close. Here's the deal. Here's what happened. Yes. I, the, he seems like a nice guy, nice enough guy. I watched, uh, they showed some clips from the show. I was like, oh, he's a pretty good actor. He, anyways, got that out of the way. He was attacked. A couple like last week or two weeks ago by uh, and, whom or what well he's in chicago he landed it was like one in the morning he was fucking hungry he's got jet on over to the subway across the street and himself a tuna salad or some bullshit so yeah. he's going over there and getting the tuna salad and then he's walking you know down the street back to his apartment and he, he all of a sudden he hears these people yelling empire at him because he's, he's the actor from empire Oh god! And he's like fuck. He's like I don't answer to Empire, so I just ignored them fuckers. But then they started saying uh, racist uh, terminology and what the fuck? you know the word that the unsayable word. Um, and they were saying what letter does that one start with? I don't know I, what one you're well, talking you know, about. I think we all know the word. Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. And they started saying uh, homophobic things to him. And what the fuck? And he was like, yeah. He was like, what the fuck? So then he turned around. Wait, and wait, like, wait, wait, wait. What? Is he gay or were they just also oh, saying homophobic no, 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 no. things? He's, he's gay. I forgot to mention. Okay. <laughs> he's openly gay. No, openly okay. gay man. Um, Perfect. So they said that. And he said, what the fuck? How dare you talk to me like that? That's rude. And they yeah, were bitch. like, this is MAGA country, motherfucker. And then <gasps> maybe some more racial stuff. And then they, you know, they punched him. There's a little tussle. Um, Ew. A couple got well. Hey, I'm not finished. There's a lot of twists and turns here. Anyways. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> so, um, beat him down. They pour some chemical stuff on him. He doesn't know what it is. He's freaking out. They put something around his neck. He's like, "What's going?" Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. What the going. fuck? Also, let me add this other small nugget because we gotta. We want to get into the all the details here. Yeah. By the time this podcast comes out, who knows? It'll probably be totally different. Anyways, he also when this attack was happening, he was on the phone with his manager. So they beat him up. He dropped the phone. So allegedly, his manager heard this or was on the phone with him. Whatever. Just a small Jesus. detail. Yeah. So, anyways, they uh, he's able. I guess he kind of fights them off or whatever. They decide to leave. They've had enough. Damn. He comes yeah. to. He's got this little noose around his neck. They poured bleach on him, I guess. He still got oh his God. his Subway salad or sandwich or whatever. It made it through. Luckily. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I was thinking about that at one point. I was like, did he even get a bite before it was yeah, fucking I taken be- away from I him? I believe he ate it, but I... I, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I thought I <laughs> he read... He was that. hungry! It's hard, it's hard to know with all the different news stories that are coming out, but I think he may have ate it. Anyways, Good. and he may not have. I'm not sure. Um, but... Uh, so he got back on the phone, I guess, with his manager, and he's like, I just got fucking attacked or some bullshit, and I'm going home. Yeah. He goes home, and his manager, uh, or s- someone is like, hey, you should call the cops, and he didn't want to call the cops, and then I guess he got convinced to call the cops. <coughs> Excuse me. So he calls the cops. Um, yeah. Like 40 minutes, 50 minutes later. Uh, they show up. He ate a subway, I guess. Maybe he didn't. I don't want to commit to that because I don't know if that's true or not. But I thought I did I read that. I hope he did. But if I did it, I don't want to be spreading fake news. He may sure. not have ate the. He may not have ate in the subway. It doesn't really. It's a Eaten. minor detail. I mean, I would have picked a better place to eat, but you know, what do I know? Oh, was he still at the scene? No, he he's made it back to his apartment now. Oh, you mean you would have picked a better place, yeah. like restaurant? He, yeah, got it. Yeah, not subway, but uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> that's he, neither here nor there. Um. So he gets, the police come to the apartment, it's like an hour later, 
He's chilling out. He's still got the noose on. Um, they're like, what's that on your neck? He's like, oh, this is a noose they threw on me. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fucked up. And they're like, what yeah. happened? He's like, oh, yeah, they roughed me up. They called me bad words. They were being homophobic. They were terrible. What they look like? I don't know. Maybe they were white. I couldn't really tell. It seemed like they were. Oh, yeah, they I was said, being attacked. They said MAGA. This is MAGA country. And they blah, blah, blah. And the cops were like, oh, that's fucked up. Well, let's do an investigation. So uh, they found some cameras. They seen two guys that looked suspicious. They, but they didn't actually get the actual attack on camera. So they're like, fuck, let's see if we can find these guys. Anyway, so he goes on TV. He's doing these interviews. I fucking got beat up. Police are like, we're going to look into it. It's probably hate crime. Mm-hmm. Now, I wasn't paying attention to this story when it first came out. I vaguely heard about it. I was like, oh, that's fucked up. And my mom watching the interview on TV, and she's like, oh, that's fucked up. What happened to that guy? I was like, I don't know. I didn't watch it. That's too bad. That sounds sad. Um, yeah. But I guess from the start, like, his story sounded kind of strange, so people were questioning it. Okay. But, uh, okay. So then, anyways, police come out. Hey, we're, uh, we got two men that were questioning about this. The people that, the two guys in the camera, we, they're, they're involved and we're talking to them about it. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, okay, that's crazy. And then they release their names and it turned out they're two, uh, two brothers, I believe. Maybe not brothers. Oh maybe they're just friends, but they're both from, uh, Nigeria. Um, oh. They have both been extras on the show Empire several times. Um, yeah. They appear to be friends with this guy. They're, they're, there's been social media postings with them together. Um, so everyone's like, oh, that's weird. I mean, you know, they don't fit really the description of the people that he said attacked him. I mean, they're two African fellas. Really beefy, yeah. too. Like, they work out. Like, big guys. Big boys, yeah. too, I gotta say. Like, if they were trying to beat someone up, They'd probably beat them up. They could do it. Like, really badly. This guy yeah. uh, didn't look like he got beat up too badly. It, doesn't, it wasn't like he had black eyes or anything. But anyways, yeah, I don't know what happened. But uh, so they're talking to these guys. The cops are talking to them. And they're like, yeah, we're going to, maybe we're going to uh, arrest these guys. We don't know. Um, meanwhile, they go to the guy's house, these uh, suspects or people of interest, whatever you want to call them. They go to their yeah. house, do some investigation. Oh, they find some bleach. Okay, whatever, people have bleach. They find some yeah. rope. It's like the same rope that he had around his neck. Mm -hmm. They find mm -hmm. out. They trace it. They're like, oh, they bought it from a hardware store in town. Um, okay, whatever. And then, so, it's like, I think at some point, uh, then at some point, some news comes out. Uh, it's reported on the news from, you know, uh, not from the police, but from uh, sources in the police department. You know what I mean? No, yeah. the news does that. Um, yeah. Saying... Uh, well, hey, it looks like this might have been a hoax, um, and this was all set up, and then there was rumors that this guy was being written off the TV show he was on, so maybe he was trying to get publicity so he wouldn't get written off this TV show. This is what, people, this is what people were saying on the internet. But yeah. then, then the, the TV show producers came out, and they're like, we weren't ever going to write him off the show, that's not true. But anyways, and then the police were like, we're arresting these two guys. But then later on, then a couple hours later, they're like, oh, we're releasing them. We're not charging them with, them with anything. They gave us uh, information that is changing the course of the investigation. And mm -hmm. everyone was like, oh, that's that's interesting. Um, so basically now uh, what the news is saying is that uh, he basically that. Yeah, he probably staged this with these two guys that he was friends with. Um, Damn. Damn. Anyways, it's really weird because I, earlier today I went and I like finally watched the like the TV interview he went on he did. And I was like, this guy like if he really I don't know what's going on. I don't I'm not going to commit to anything. But if he really right. did uh, if stage this or whatever it is, like this guy's like got some like really heavy uh, mental issues, yeah. sociopathic. Yeah, almost. that's like, hardcore shit. Because he really does like like you know now I'm watching it like I'm trying to be critical of it like I'm watching the interview I'm like trying to see like. You know, so now I don't know. I know it seems like he's being like acting, like he's yeah. being an actor. But now maybe I'm just watching it through that lens because now it's being heavily reported that this is probably uh, not a real thing. But uh, right. Anyways, I guess the point is, and this is very troubling because now it's just going to make it harder for people that actually do have real things happen to them. Right. Which happened, which happens quite a bit, as we all know. So often, um, yeah. And so I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if he's trying to uh, 
he thought he's gonna lose he's, he thought he was getting written off this show and he's like oh maybe i'll do this thing or maybe he wanted you know to become a leader of some sort of you know of a some sort of movement and he thought you know no one's attacking me so maybe i'll just set that up um maybe uh. he's just a sociopath a crazy egocentric actor uh a lot of actors are crazy um yeah that's valid could have been it but you know, I fell down that rabbit hole today because someone, a friend of mine, sent it to me, and they're like, "Oh, this is fucked up. This guy looks like he made it up." And I was like, "Well, I don't know. Well, let me look into it." And then everybody you knows CNN and you know Washington Post and you know legitimate news sources are like, "Yeah, yeah it looks like this is probably not a real thing." And I guess people have been questioning it the whole time. But you know, when stuff first comes out, you kind of want to believe the victim, you right? Know? Yeah, especially it's not when good practice to jump into questioning the yeah. victim. Um, especially with how things are in society today. But uh, I don't know, man. I would suggest you can look up this interview he did on TV and watch it. And it's just so, like, if he, if, if it does come out that this whole thing was a uh, a show or an act, like, this guy's just... That'll be fucking wild. Like, this guy's just fucking crazy. Because he's doing, like, an, you know, it's like for ABC, NBC News. I don't know what the fuck. One of them, you know, one of them dumbass shows where you sit down with the reporter. They talk to you. <laughs> You talk to Brian Williams. Yeah, well, it's the, it's the, who is this lady? It is, uh, Robin Roberts, you know her? I don't no, know. I don't know oh, her, she's actually. From, she's from Good Morning America, that's who we talk to. Um, Who's the one that I'm thinking of? Barbara Walters, yeah, that's, that's who I'm thinking bringing of. bringing out that old bitch. I mean, <laughs> isn't she on The, the View, or is Fucking she not on there? Classic, probably, yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. But anyways. God damn. So I, I read about that a little bit today and fell into that rabbit hole. Just because the whole thing's so bizarre that, uh, you know, he yeah. faked an attack. And, yeah, well, I'm not, if maybe. that is what happened, it, that really fucking sucks because we don't need people ruining it for actual victims. We don't need people crying wolf when there's no fucking wolf. Right, exactly. And, uh, I you know, the where this happened, where this all transpired, I know the neighborhood in Chicago where it happened because I'd been down there a few times yeah. in this area of town. And it seemed like an odd place for uh, for something like this to happen just because that part of town's like a very... Uh, not so bad. Not not bad at all in a very, uh, like, uh, openly, I don't know, like gay part of town or whatever. Or yeah. that general area. I don't want to say that specific part, but the general general area you're in. I don't think you'd see too many homophobes running around. Plus, it's yeah, just it's just overrun with fucking LGBTQA. And a little bit like I think, kind of specifically, we're in the kind of area he was. Not a real like commercial area where there's like a lot of people would milling, be milling about that time of night. Um, right. You know, there's a little more just like housing there, but there's not really lots well, of stuff that's know, open late. Well, you know, people are fucking headed to Subway, man. Yeah, I think it was like that also during that time period where it was like negative 30, like wind chills too. Um, Ugh, fuck all that. Ain't nobody got time for violence so, outside. I mean, that's maybe they would cold. if they're really, really looking for it. Maybe they're fucking pissed off that he ate at Subway. I mean, that's kind of offensive too. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking um, gay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, just ate, I just ate there a couple of days ago, <laughs> well, to be honest with you. And do you have a problem with being gay? Not at all. I mean, I mean, I didn't know that that was a sign, though. And there's no problem I'm, here. Look, I'm now yeah, totally. I got a meatball sandwich, too. I was like... <laughs> gay. It was, it, was pretty, gay. And it was pretty good, too. Foot long, in fact. Ooh, like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, you like those well, longer if ones. If you have an option you? between a six inch and a foot long, I mean... <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, dude. I th- I think I'd opt for the six inch. I I don't want to bite off more than I can well, chew. If you know, well, what I, mean. I I could handle it. I I mean, I took it like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I truly, I just can't. <laughs> I, uh, I loved it. I got that new garlic bread. They got they got this new garlic bread. I don't know if you've heard. No fucking way. Smear- no, I hadn't heard that. They, That's genius. Well, all they do is just smear some garlic butter on there and then put the cheese in there. Yes. But it's good. But I bet the white people are going wild. Well, I was pretty stoked about it. And I don't like Subway. I was only eating there because I had a fucking gift card. I would, I mean. Yeah. But other than that. I mean, not that I'm against sandwiches. Don't get me wrong. I, I'll eat a fucking sandwich. It's not from Subway. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, it's not my usual go-to, but I'll fuck with that. If it's fucking free, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyways, <clears throat> this guy, uh, he might be in trouble. He might be in trouble now. I don't know what the law is. If you do a hoax, a national hoax. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah, some shit's gonna go down. I hope he, you know, I kind of feel for the guy still, even if this is a hoax, because he, he, might, he has some sort of issue. Um, 
Yeah. The way he lied in this uh, TV interview was crazy. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's uh maybe it's real. Maybe we don't know the whole story. Maybe these two dudes uh put on like white face or something and they beat the shit out of them because they didn't like him for some reason. And uh, yeah, that could be. I don't know. They want his job. It could be. We don't know. There could be so many. We don't. This could be a fucking government conspiracy. We don't know. what's maybe they're setting them up. Could be Russian bots. Maybe he fucked their hoes. Maybe he fucked them. They're pissed. Maybe they, fuck, they fucked and they fucking didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe he raped them. That could have been one of them rape revenge things. Um, yeah. We don't know shit. We don't know shit. We're, we're waiting for, I'm waiting for CNN to come out with more. But, uh, you know, it's uh, Saturday night. They're probably fucking, they're probably off work. Yeah, they're fucking getting lit think, right now. I think at CNN they clock out at like five and they're like, fuck it. Fuck this Bye. Shit. <laughs> Gonna go get drunk go. after this heavy day of sad yeah. bullshit. Oh, fuck what's going on. Mm-mm. But old, I'm out. But old Ju- Jesse Smollett, Smollett, I don't even know how to say it. See, I'm talking about this guy, I don't even know how to say his name, but you know. Juicy. Juicy here. He seems like Jussie. he seems like a nice enough fella, too. I mean, you see the, but you see the interview with him, he seems like a nice guy. That's sad yeah. that to him, but then you kind of watch, and then That's sad. but then you hear these stories, and you go back, and you're like, I don't know, maybe he's a liar, maybe he's just maybe he's a fucking serial, I mean, fucking addicted to lying. Yeah, he could be. Yeah. Like, maybe he just like slipped and fell in the ice, and he's like, fuck, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna have this whole bit, yeah, I mean, save face I'm here, run this bit, man. Um, who knows? We're gonna find out in the next couple of days. Um, I'm excited about it. No, it's a big hey. one. Yeah. Remember that chick, like, a long time ago that, like, her boyfriend was suicidal and she texted him, like, encouraging him to kill himself, and he did? Yeah. Apparently she is, uh, finally going to prison for that? Yeah, I know. I've seen, a I've seen a headline. I've seen her picture. I was like, oh, she's kind of cute. And then I was like, and then I remember she was the one that, uh, had her boyfriend kill him for himself, I guess. Kill himself. Which, yeah. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, so she's been sentenced to 15 months in jail, five years after... I don't know. What, what's your... I, I don't know much about the story. I remember when it first happened, and then it happened. How, how, I don't know. How do we feel about this? Should people go... See, that's why, that's why I bring it up, because I don't know. Like, I mean, if you read the text, it's some dark shit. But I'm also like, she must have been coming from a place of darkness as well. Like, to be saying this kind of shit to him. Yeah. And I'm like, I just don't know if prison is the answer. Like, it's dark and creepy, but I'm like, I think that she also needed help. And I don't, maybe she got that during the last five years. I have no clue what the fuck happened to this girl so, during this time frame. Was the, but the other thing yeah. is, like, she was, like, 17 at the time, and she's 22 now, or something like that. And I'm like, I think of the differences between myself, like, in that time frame. And I just, I don't like the lag of, like, five years between the event and now the imprisonment. I'm like, is it even accomplishing anything at this point because it's so like you're so distanced from the event right i don't know i mean she's uh is she uh repentant has she uh said hey that i have no <laughs> clue and i've barely Listen, even looked into it i love it when we talk about things we haven't looked into it's what yeah, we, we just did no it for about. like 20 minutes so here's well, yep. what's, here's what i'm gonna say one um yeah i do vaguely remember back what happened like them going over the text and i was like yeah that is some dark shit she's basically like yeah you should kill yourself you'd feel better um yeah okay whatever but he was already like he like broached the idea right he's like i'm thinking i'm gonna kill myself and she's like you know what i don't yeah yeah but if i I believe i'm 99 percent certain that like when it happened he was like okay i'm gonna do it and he was like i can't do it i don't want to do it and she was like no you should do it you've been wanting to do this forever come on like quit messing around with it and just get it done. I mean, like so, there is quite a possibility that he would not have done it without her influence, even though he had suicidal thoughts. Sure. But um, do you think maybe she's just annoyed by this point? She's like, I fuck this guy's texting me all the fucking time about this. Right? Yeah, just get just it over fuck, with, loser. On, just buddy. kill yourself. Yeah. See, and that's what I don't know. I'm like, were you coming from a place of like just not giving a shit about him, or were you coming from a place of like? you were sick and you also genuinely believe that that would be best for him. Sure. You know what I mean? And, like, I mean, we can't necessarily, um, how old was she? She was 17 when this happened. I mean, I think so. It's not like she would have, we can't expect someone that age to have the mental maturity to like really, to be able to really help someone through something like that. I mean, right. so, and I, I mean, this isn't necessarily 
a failure to help. So it's quite kind of the opposite, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how much worse. I mean, I would have handled it differently even at 17. I wouldn't have encouraged a friend to kill themselves. I don't believe. Right. I would have been like, but maybe did she end up before where she was like, yeah, you should get help. That's fucked up. And he's like, nah, I just really want to do it. She's like, I, I don't think And he kept going. And she's like, yeah, you know what? You're probably, I fucking don't even like hanging around. You know, you're pretty fucking annoying. <laughs> just do, do, it. do it. I'm sick of your she's ass. Like, I don't got to fucking talk to you anymore. Um, <laughs> I would maybe could have spoke up with him. I mean, hell, you're only 17. It's not like, and that's, I don't know. I feel like prison time, it's pretty harsh. Um, I mean, I obviously she's probably not going to be going to like a fucking maximum security prison or anything crazy. I would right. Assume. So she'll probably be going to minimum security, hanging out with fucking other criminals. Uh, that's always a great thing to do. Um, that will reform her probably hanging out with other bad people. Um, right. Who totally may have helped. done actual worse things than her or maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah. I just kind of that thing. It kind of gets into that territory of like, uh, Charles Manson. He didn't really kill anyone, but he told people to kill people. Right. Yeah. So it's and like he went to prison. Yeah. It's a very gray area. So I feel like, the power of suggestion. Like, how do you convict that? I feel like you are respond. I mean, yeah, because you can't say, especially with something like that. I mean, you can't prove that like this text pushed him over the edge. But then it's like, okay, are you going to hold people responsible because they didn't know someone was in some emotional state and they said something, you know, bad to them at that time? They, right. You know, like, oh, I this person was suicidal and you knew it and you broke up with them. And then, and I guess that's different. Cause it's not like, Hey, we're breaking up, go fucking kill yourself. But I mean, the, what are we, you know, where is the trigger? What's the triggering moment? How we, yeah, I don't know. Right. But I guess it's different. That doesn't really make that argument. Is not really? Cause she was specifically saying, you know, you should kill yourself. That's a good idea. Not just right. like doing an, you know, an action that would, you know, makes, you know, lead someone in that direction. Um, I don't know. I don't care about her because I don't know her personally. But, um... Yeah. But it just poses an interesting question. Well, okay. So I found, like, these, the texts okay, from... let's hear those. ...when it happened. So apparently in June, there was conversation found where she tried to convince him to get help. Okay. Like, she's... She said, but the mental hospital would help you. I know you don't think it would, but I'm telling you, if you give them a chance, they can save your life. And she was like, part of me wants you to try something. Oh, part of, part of me wants you to try something and fail, like hurting yourself, just so you can go get help. Okay. And he said back, it doesn't help, trust me. And she said, so what are you going to do then? Keep being all talk and no action and every day go through saying how badly you want to kill yourself? Or are you going to try to get better? Okay. And he said, I can't get better. I already made my decision. All right, that doesn't seem that bad to me, unless I'm... Um, right. She was like, quit fucking whining and go get some help, essentially. And then, like, four days later, he says that he wants to harm himself, and she says, please don't. Okay. She was like, what is harming yourself going to do? Nothing. It'll make it work. Worse. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> and he said, it'll make the pain go away. And she said... It'll make the pain go away temporarily, but when you're done, you'll just regret it and feel even worse. And then in July, she he asked, if you were in my position, what would you do? And she said, I would get help. Okay. Um, and then the next day, he seemed less bad. Like, he was like, I don't know if I really want to kill myself. I guess another day wouldn't hurt. Okay. But then... Ooh, oh. then she got dark. Okay. She decided that he should use the generator in the truck. Jesus. This is July 11th, 2014. Um, and then the July, like, 4th through the 12th, over the span <laughs> of nine days, she starts telling him to kill himself. She's like, you keep pushing it off. You said you're going to do it tonight. You keep saying eventually. Um, gotta... So she, like, suggested the method that he did end up using to do it? yeah okay. yeah I guess maybe that maybe could i could see where that you know they can make the argument that could get her in trouble but it seems like to me that I, she was telling him to get help and then 
he kept pushing it, and she was just like, "Fuck, man! I mean, how many? How do it then, if that's what you want? How many texts can I take? How? I mean, how close were they really? I mean, you're talking about two little fucking kids, and they were fucking dating. What does that even mean? Yeah, you know I, mean? Ugh, I, don't, I know. don't know. I mean, there's some shit about how he's like, "Please help take care of my family," and she's like, "Of course, I'll be there for them. I'll help them as much as I can. <laughs> yeah, sure. Tell them how amazing you were. Whatever." Yikes, yeah. I don't know. All this to say. She's only going there for four, five years, right? She probably only won't serve all that. No, she's going there for 15 months. This oh. is just five years later. Oh, right? oh fuck. Yeah, I so not care. very long at all. Whatever. So I don't feel, I don't really feel bad for her. That's free room and board. It's just weird to me that, like, after all this, like, can you imagine you, like, had a boyfriend when you were 17 that you texted and you were like, yeah, you should kill yourself. And then five years later... You're going to prison for it, finally. It's just like, I feel like you're like a different... Not that she, like, doesn't deserve the sentence, but it's just weird to have this big of a pause, like... That happened. And then have to go for it. She might have fucking learned her lesson already, you know? And now she's just still going well, anyway. Yeah, but she has... She has to really learn. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. She probably... Maybe she's a big Orange is a New Black fan. She's looking forward to it. <laughs> she's fucking lit she's about it. Man. She's ready. It won't be that bad. The hell i'm gonna find me a piper yeah i mean i don't know i don't i'm not i don't have much sympathy for her not and i don't wish her no. ill in the future right but as far as yeah. the 15 months go i mean if it was more if it's something crazy could be worse if it was yeah. like five or ten years i've been like jesus that's that's some harsh that's a little that's thick a little harsh there i mean i'm sure she, yeah she feels bad about it unless she is like a sociopath and she's like yeah i want to help more people kill themselves yeah. At a young age. I mean, if you want to do assisted suicide when they're older, then I mean, I support it. I don't know. Suicide's a weird thing. It's like, yeah, you know, why, uh, you know, why can't we support that? I don't know. I mean, if someone decides they want to kill themselves, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why. Right. That's it's. I know it's a cultural thing, uh, mostly that we look down upon. Uh, I don't know. Well, I think a lot of it is that in a lot of those cases, the person has some kind of a mental unwellness. And so people are like, oh, they need help. They're sick. So don't convince them to like act on that. Yeah. But it's like, it's still to a certain extent, if they have the capacity to like make decisions for themselves, maybe they decide it's not worth it to get help. Like, do I really have the right to tell them that they can't do that? You know, I mean, I don't know. I say let people kill themselves if they want to do it. I mean, I don't say support it. Don't say go kill yourself. Say let's get help. But I'm saying once they commit the act, I don't think we should like, you know, there's so much shame, I guess is what I'm saying, surrounding yeah. suicide. I'm saying I know some people that uh, have killed themselves. And I mean, I have nothing but positive memories about that, these people and I don't have any yeah. negative thoughts connected to them. No, no, I don't I think mean, of them as like weak, yeah, weak or anything like that. I, I wish that they hadn't felt that way. Right. I wish that I wish they, you know, would not have killed happy. themselves or wouldn't have been in that pain or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But I don't hold any uh, grudges against them in death or think any less of them as a person. But I believe some yeah. people do. You know, there is a lot of stigma yeah. around suicide and how people and i that probably causes more suicide because then people don't talk about it and then you get some crazy girlfriend right. that says fucking kill yourself and then you do it so i guess yeah. in that sense i am anti-suicide but uh whatever whatever yeah. she's going to fucking prison for 14 months it won't be that fucking bad you get to take a shit yeah she'll be Wait, a they got a fucking some of those people get to watch tv that's true dude some of these people got it better than me. So most of these places got fucking soda fountains. You just fucking go up to them. <laughs> and that's at, that's at like a maximum security prison. So walk up to the Hell. soda fountain. Got your fucking cup. Go to the commissary. Get some fucking Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck shit up. It ain't that bad. Well, yeah, they go make you a fucking cut some wood for a penny an hour. And that's bullshit. I agree. But whatever. Could be Could worse. Be worse. I mean, you got to join a gang probably or some bullshit. So... You ain't or like be somebody's bitch. The shit kicked out of you. Well, I don't, you know, I don't want to support any uh, stereotypes, but yeah, maybe probably. <laughs> I think I'd make a good bitch though, to be honest. I think you would, I'd, honestly. I'd be going. I go right in there and try. I'd find the most alpha motherfucker and be like, "Listen." Yep, yeah, you'd be like, "Put it in my ass." I want to. I'm here, mine. Let's go. I mean, right? You want? Let's go. <laughs> I'm your bitch. I just, I want to have that protection. So I think you want to immediately yeah. buddy up. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. Why would you try? That? Immediately let yeah. somebody put it in your ass. Why would you try to avoid someone that could protect you and is and is like already has ends and is friends with everyone in this new society you've just entered? Why would you try to shun that? You want to? Yeah. Nope. Bring it you on. You should be going in there making friends as quickly as possible. You should go, be going in there and sucking that dick yeah. right away. Like, cause I watched uh, Shawshank Redemption, and if fucking <laughs> what's his name <laughs> would have sucked that dick, he wouldn't have been getting the shit kicked out of him all the time. I mean, Jesus, yep. like it's they make it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, just suck the dick, dude. They make it seem like it's the worst thing ever. Jesus. Yes. Uh, such fucking homophobes, dude. Dude. I was well, listen. listening to a, you, I was listening to a podcast just, the other day yeah. where some guy turned down half a million dollars to suck a dick in a hypothetical situation. <clears throat> I was like, "You're that fucking homophobic." I was like, "I'd suck a dick for like here's the thing fifty dollars." I have no problem <laughs> yeah. with him turning it down in a hypothetical situation, but if it was <laughs> a legit, if it was a literal situation, then I'd have a problem with him. I'd be like, "You're fucking hell crazy. yeah." Yeah, hypothetically, I would, I would say no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could even say no, that hypothetically. No. Have some, have some fucking realism. This guy was so prideful. He was like, "No, I wouldn't do it for half a million dollars." I was like, "Bullshit." I mean, either a, either a, you're a fucking liar and you need to swallow your pride, or b, you're not a liar and that's even worse if you'd actually turn down half a million dollars as, to suck a as dick long one as it time. was well groomed, cleaned. Oh. No, I don't even require I mean, that. If it's half a Jesus. million dollars, well, here, here, I'll suck here. a nasty dick. You're going to be done in 10 well, minutes. You just earned half a million dollars in 10 minutes. You, you have much more experience sucking dick than me. And so I probably have <laughs> so little like, listen, there's a couple conditions I might want met. Um, I would say the same thing if it was a female and they're like, you got to eat this pussy. I'm like, listen, can we just make sure it's clean a little bit? That's all. But if they said no, I'd, I'd still be like, well, okay. Well, yeah, it's a negotiation. <laughs> it's like, listen, yeah. if they say no. Yeah, I'd ask, I'd try, but if it's not going to be clean, I'm still going to yeah, do I'm it like, for half a uh -oh, million dollars. Oh, hell yeah, listen. I'm like, if the 500000 is still on the table, <laughs> well, okay, sure. I was just trying to see. I, I can lick around well, it. I can plug it. You got to try to get what you can. I mean, Jesus, this yeah, person's totally. showing up with the fucking cash. I'm like, you're fucked up. You know you can get this done for a lot cheaper. Like you're <laughs> I would have said yes for five hundred. Yeah, I was but like, sure. I mean, like uh, five hundred thousand. <laughs> Jesus, I was like, why are you coming to me? I've never even done this. It's not going to be that great. It was what I'd be. Listen, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to try to sell myself. Yeah, seriously, don't fucking say like, that, dude. Listen, I've sucked so many dicks. You're not going to believe. Well, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm a, you're going to wish you'd given me a yeah. million. <laughs> I deserve double. Actually, to be honest, I deserve triple this. Was how good I am. <laughs> I'd actually be, I'd be trying to raise the price, not because of yeah, you would. the homophobic part, yeah. but because I want to get more money. Because so you might as well. Yeah. yeah. If they're coming in with $500,000, they've got more. Right. Like, I'd be probably <laughs> sucking this guy's dick on the regular. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get paid this every time? <laughs> I was like. Yeah. Hell yeah. Jesus. Dude, I'm sucking my it's way like to you fucking drive, baby. Here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> drive his money. I admit. Oh my god! Um, easy. Yeah, I easy. got a little excited there. No problem. I got so excited. Oh no, I mean easy. I would do yeah. it easy. I got excited. Yeah. Just, now I was really visualizing the money, and I was like, Jesus. Like, That'd be why, so yeah. good. <laughs> why would I was like, that's not even a question. You wouldn't. The words wouldn't need to be exchanged. You could just set like no. a pile of money down. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah. yeah, and I'd be like, what do you want from yeah, me? My, yes. <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If, you're, if yeah. you're saying you wouldn't do it, I mean, I get that you're trying to be moral and principled and be like, well, that I'm not, I'm 100% heterosexual. And I would, Say, no, they're not trying to be moral. They're not trying to be principled. They're just like, I just don't like dick. I'm straight. I'm, I'm, like, I'm straight. Get over it. Get over it. I don't for like fucking... dollars for what? Yeah, yeah. That was like, there's plenty of shit that I don't like that I would still do for that much money. Like, like suck it up. I mean, 100 probably. 150 I don't know. Oh. I can't put a price tag on this mouth, but... Jesus. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Easy. So, so if anybody out there wants to offer me $500,000 to suck their dick, absolutely. Or me. Come to me first. I'm... Me Plus, first. I feel, this is my but, idea. Well, here's the, I've sucked dick before. I think we've had. Have we talked about this before? Here's the thing. I think I've talked about prostituting yeah. myself a lot but on this podcast. I can make the point like 
I don't know what the fuck's going on, so they could totally take advantage of me and do some fucking crazy shit. I, I'm like, is this normal? Like, <laughs> this is standard issue. Like, this is normal. Like, yeah, this is how you suck dick, buddy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> totally so, fine. Still worth it though. Come to me. Come to me first. It'll, uh, it'll be worth it. But you don't have to pull the wool over my eyes. You can just say whatever freaky shit you want, and I'll be like five hundred thou. You I mean, it. yeah. I mean, fuck. I'm not. Yeah, what? I listen. I think I got something to offer here, um, <laughs> but not as much as me. Jesus, it would be a fight. It'd be a fight if some fucker came into her, came up. Well, we fight. literally would be fighting to suck your yeah, dick. How hot is that? Yeah, really, guys? that's a bonus. That's, I mean, that's worth another. Like I'd hit him. I'd hit him. That's worth another. I dude, I'd beat the shit out of you. Good. I'd be upset if you wouldn't. You know, if you're one of those, if you're one of those fucking uptight, like old timey guys who's like, I'll never hit a woman, not for any reason. Even in this circumstance, I'd be pissed at you. Thousand dollars on the table. I'd listen. How deck your ass, a woman bitch. Ma- You asked for equality. Here it is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. It's not personal. Obviously, I like you a lot, but that guy just put five hundred thousand yeah. dollars down. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not an instance of like woman battering. That's just a fight, like between humans. And it's like, look, I'll give you, look, I'll give you a little afterwards, maybe fifty, a hundred. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> wait, like fifty dollars no, or fifty thousand dollars? Oh hell! I'd feel really bad if I had to beat nope. the shit out of you had to suck this guy's dick. That's true. I'd feel really yeah, terrible yeah. If it. you could just like at least cover my medical bills and maybe like pay off my and student here's loans. Here's the thing: you might that. you might end up beating the shit out of me. We don't know. Might, we don't know how that would go. Well, I have I have a good like like base like leg strength, but I don't have any arm muscles. <laughs> you see, I, so don't, I don't know no fucking arm muscles, but <laughs> <laughs> but you're taller than me. You got like a, a wingspan that, that I don't you have. You have a wingspan. I got. I got <laughs> so leverage. you could reach me. You could like you could put your hand on my forehead and like push me away, I, I, and then you could still hit me while I can't reach you. That would you. be my go-to <laughs> move. I just fucking put the. Stay on the forehead and just fucking kick you in the fucking vag as hard as I fucking could. I hear that hurt. Why the vag? It's a weak, That's it's a weak spot for men and women. It's just right there. It's an easy place to kick. <laughs> the vag is a weak spot for men and yeah, women. It, it, <laughs> and so many different ways. It's led to the root of this world. I just, I think that that would just be unpleasant though. Whereas like if you decked me in the face, like you might really like knock me out or something. Whereas like. The vag is just. Oh, well, I might. Yeah, I might. You know, maybe I'll do vag then the face. Maybe it's a combination. I don't know. Damn, I'm gonna at least try to minimize the harm I have to inflict on you. Okay. <laughs> Would you... Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you in the back of the head once, put you out long enough for well, me to suck the I'm gonna put you out. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. It's my first time. I don't know. What the fuck. It's probably not gonna take you. That I mean, long. I'm think if this guy just watches us beat the <laughs> shit out of each other, he's probably pretty excited because he's obviously a sick fuck. Oh, he's turned on, yeah. So it probably won't take long. And listen, I give you my blessing if you have to knock me out. If you're willing to share some of the cut with me, you can, like, let him touch my unconscious Jesus body Christ, while I give him that. It, you <laughs> my mind. You just made this a thousand times. <laughs> Wait, did you say it did cross your mind? No, or it, didn't it didn't cross, cross my, mind? my mind. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, just knocked, I just knocked my friend out. Feel free to correct her while I suck your dick. I'm just, listen, I'm taking the scraps from the table. If I can get like a hundred thou out of that, it's worth I told it. You what, I don't even have to be awake for it. I don't have to be there for it. Touch my tits. I, I told you it. I would give you some money just for feeling bad about the whole situation. Yeah, but there, but would it be as much? Well, I'd feel super guilty if I let some guy touch you while you're unconscious. But I gave you my blessing as long as I get, like, a way better True. cut. If I'm not getting any more money for it, then I, no. I mean, if that, theoretically, hypothetically, uh, I might give you, like, that might be worth a hundred grand. Perfect. I'm so good with I'm that. thinking 50 for the beating and a 50 for the touch. 50 for the boob touching, yeah. And I mean, I don't want him to, like, put my dick in me, you know, just to be clear, but, like, you can take my top off. That's oh, nice. Jesus, I'll, I'll express that to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, there are limits here for the degree of sexual <laughs> violation that is allowed. Or, like, there are thresholds for dollar amounts. So if you want to give her an entire 500 thou. She'll let you put your dick in her. Well, listen, I'm I'm a fucking sneaky bastard. If he puts that out when you wake up, I'm like, yeah, he he gave you an extra two. 
but I'm taking some off the top. You don't know about it. Oh my god, the rude. I mean... Rude. I'm just saying. I need to sacrifice my unconscious body and you're taking money yeah, from you're, me. You're, you already beat me. Yeah, but I didn't want to. You forced my hand. <laughs> like all women do. <laughs> she brought it upon herself. You made me beat you. You made me beat you. I had no choice. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joking. I would not beat her. Well, no. Not even for 500000 Yeah. I... I really? just say, hey, let's come to a compromise here. You, I mean, yeah, that's true. We're rational. I don't think you'd have to beat me. Just give me a hundred. Just give me fifty. Give me a hundred, just for being here. I have to be subjective. Yeah, for showing I, up. I, I tried. Right. I tried. I put in a, the old college try. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, the best woman won. So you go ahead. Yeah. Get the sucking. You go and, ahead. Uh, yeah. You go ahead, and uh, I'll be here, I guess, just in the corner watching awkwardly. I'll take the participation award. Like, can I take this 50 now, or do I got to stick around? What's the situation? Do I have to watch it happen? Yeah, yeah what's going on here? Like, it's still. Anyways. I'd dismiss you. I don't think I'd really want you to, like, watch it happen. It, it, I wouldn't need an audience. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want, I want to go shopping at this point. I'm trying to look. <laughs> Yeah, I'll dismiss you and just like wire you. Well, the I don't money know if later. it's your choice. But I don't understand. It's, it's... Everybody talks about wiring the money, and I don't really know what that how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it's a money wire. Here's what it like. Isn't that just a transfer? <laughs> like, what's the difference? Here's the difference. And listen, I have yeah. absolutely zero idea, but it's always one of those terms I've heard. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm going to wire you $200 million. And I'm like, are you just transferring it from no, your bank account here's the to thing, theirs? Or like, the, what's when you wiring? How does that when work? you do a wire, you're doing it from a bank to, it could be to anywhere. It could be to another bank. A, 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 Did you look no, this up? This is how I believe it works. I'm probably totally wrong. Oh, okay. You're taking, you're taking the money, okay, and you're transferring it. Mm -hmm to wherever this other person is you could be at fucking walmart you can get a wire transfer fucking at a bank how wait they just fucking wire the money and you pick it up at walmart that's not, how did you, what no you've no. never seen that when you go into the fucking <laughs> what are the steps what are the steps how does it just arrive at walmart what does walmart have to do with it do i just walk up to a cashier and i'm like hey i had some money no, wired you go to here the fucking money that little money center they have at some of those walmarts fill out the fucking paper form you give it to them, they fucking, I don't know, they fax it, scan it, do some shit, call in what the a fuck? number, the money is wired, and I guess, you know, that means, I guess... That's just a transfer. Well, listen, dude, I don't know what the fuck it is, don't fuck it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is a money wire? <laughs> We're gonna find out. People are like, these dumb fucks. Oh my god. <laughs> How do they do anything? <laughs> A wire transfer, <laughs> bank transfer, and a credit transfer is a method of electronic funds transfer from one person or entity to another. A wire transfer can be made from one bank account to another bank account or through a transfer of cash at a cash office. There you go. Okay, yeah, so it's just a transfer. But I think it's different because you can still do a money wire that is separate from a bank transfer, right? It's a separate thing that's offered. That's not what that definition sounded like. I know. That's why I'm confused. But maybe I just didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I am Confucian. Yeah. I'm like, how? These these criminals okay. are wiring like hundreds of millions of dollars. That's here's not Here's the thing. This is why I was, I was confused. Because there are transfer providers like Western Union. You know, you've ever heard of yeah. them. That's what they do. They, they do yeah. wire transfers and they're not necessarily a bank. So I don't know really what that is. Um let yeah, me look. I don't know. It's just blah, confusing blah, blah. to me. I'm like, how do these people get away Let's with see. this? Let's oh, see. Your money, it doesn't go straight from one bank to another. Um, the real-time wire processing system clears the payments similar to the way an ACH would, which is like a direct deposit or, you know, you've seen those right. transfers. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Generally gets processed the same day the wire goes out, usually within, a, I don't know, whatever. Fuck this. <laughs> this I'm never stupid. gonna. Way to go, Kelsey! Not... You sent us on a stupid conversation. Topic. I'm never gonna do a wire transfer. That's something like fucking you do when you kidnap someone, Rich or you can do a do. fucking drug deal. Yeah, yeah. Send me the wire. Wire the money. Rich criminals. <laughs> I've yeah. only ever seen criminals use a wire transfer in movies. So, 
Yes, the, the the only people who refer to wiring money are people doing illegal activities. Yeah. The rest of us just call it yeah. transfer. Transfer me the money. I think like maybe a wire is more untraceable, so you could like fucking just go to Western Union and be like, yeah, and you got a fake ID and shit, and they and then you get the money somehow. Maybe that's why criminals use it. Hell, I got a fake ID. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Oh no, you guys let us know. I googled it. Yeah, I understand if, it. If, you, if any of you Maybe. are criminals and you've wired money, let us know. Um, it's like, you know, money laundering. When I was a kid, I thought that just meant they uh, cleaned Cleaning. the money. Like, but yeah. now since I've watched movies <laughs> about criminals, I know what money laundering is. Actually, I, I learned about it because I read a book about uh, uh, the drug trade in like fifth or sixth grade. And that's when I actually figured out what money laundering was. But, um. Yeah, oh, dope. I, remember, I was so excited. I was like, "Fifth grade is pretty early, honestly." Yeah, Good it work. was like it was like a whole chapter on money laundering because it's like you know they were trying to break it down. And I was like, "Oh, okay." They mean you know, dirty money as in gotten through ill gotten, mm-hmm. yeah, criminal. criminal, and you have to yeah, as opposed to and you have filthy. to find a way to not make it traceable and make it look legitimate. Life and finds I was a like, way. Oh my god, that's so cool! I thought it really meant um laundering the money but sometimes you know when people make counterfeit money they will put it in like dryers and shit to make it look aged so oh, oh that's clever if you know that if you ever see someone with some fucking a bunch of bills in the fucking dryer um they do that it's probably yeah, fake it's probably fake yeah. probably up to some. they're not just laundering their money they're laundering like, their how money. can you i i think like out of all criminals i really respect counterfeiters that's such a what a wonderful crime that is how can you be against that seriously yeah you're not like you're not directly harming like humans directly and you're just doing it to have cash yeah. like i mean yeah. i get it maybe you hurt the business later on but fuck them they shouldn't have took that counterfeit totally, money but hell yeah fuck i watch Get a bill Man, checker. I, these fuck, can you, fuck them. Fuck the banks. I watched this documentary a few weeks ago. All these banks are dirty. They take all this fucking... We were talking about money laundering. The fucking banks just do it now. You just go to... These drug cartels just go to banks and what? just give them the money. You don't even got to really launder it anymore. Huh. Yeah, it's a big controversy. Yeah. These big banks, they're just... They're, they're just like, oh, it. this is from drug dealers. And the government was like, yeah, it is. And they're like... The government's like, don't do that anymore. And they're like, okay. We had no clue. And then clue. they kept doing it. And they, like, tried to act like they didn't know it. Like, the government made up this system where, like, you had to type in, like, you know, if you got a... Someone came in with, like, a million dollars, you had to run their name to be like, fuck, this might be drug money. Or is a company and the government... You know, they put company names in, like, no one drug fronts. And so you'd, you'd go type it in. Yeah. And if you typed in the, the name to set up the account, the thing would come up and be like, oh, you can't make an account for this fucker. They're drug money. But what the bank... The people with the banks would do... Is they do the name, but they would like put you know a period or a hashtag in between a couple letters, so oh, it pop up in the yeah. government's database thing. So they knew what they were doing. Oh my god! Fucking dirty fucking. Banks. Yeah, they did. Don't trust them. Um. Nope. You know whatever. What else? Whatever. What else you got what do we? Anything else in the news today? Um. I got a whole bunch of tabs. I saw well not, not today, but I saw this bit where. This airline is suing someone for, so basically there's this thing called, uh, oh, what's it called? I don't know, but basically people will like, they'll buy a flight. Okay. So let's say you're trying to go to fucking Italy Mm -hmm. and you could fly straight from Chicago to Italy but it would cost $2,000 or you can fly from Chicago to Italy to Tel Aviv. And that would only cost $1,500. Right. So they'd buy that and then just skip their last flight and just stay in Italy. Yeah. I, I thought this was and a common thing this, people did all, all the time. Fucking, yeah, it is. And oh, okay. this fucking airline wants to sue a passenger for doing it. Cause they're like, that's abuse of the system and they're screwing us out of money. And they're yeah, like, people, and that's like, that's a common, like, I, anyway, I have friends that, like, do business, you know, for their dumbass jobs, and they have to fly Yeah. Out. And they'd always tell me about this trick. I don't ever yeah. fly, so I, I don't, it's not like I have to use it, but these are, like, people that fly all the fucking time. And yeah, why I say they, friends, I have, like, 
two people that have real jobs and do this kind of shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, not to cut but, you yeah, off, people. but I, I was excited because someone had told me about this scheme like years ago, and I was like, well, yeah, yeah that makes a lot of sense. I never fucking fly, buddy. I'm fucking poor. You should know that. But anyway. But it's a good call. Yeah. Well, and there's apparently even like a whole website that will do that for people. Like we'll find the cheapest way to get you there. Right. And do that. But so like, yeah, this airline is like, you're screwing us out of money, blah, blah, blah. But like the people are like, uh, what's it to you if I don't take my last flight? Like I, I bought, I paid for all the tickets. And in fact, you can make extra money off of me because you can sell like the third flight that I never took, right. you can fill that empty seat, like, so you can right. make the money twice, because I'm not asking for my money back for that flight. Anyway, that's just kind of another, like, gray area legal thing that I found that was like, do you really have the right to sue these people over this? Like, I mean, I I mean, listen, I don't know much about airplanes, airports, <laughs> yeah, airlines. It seems like they're always in trouble, though. Like, they're always going out of business. You always hear about these airlines, like, fucking up, like, a plane crashes, and then they go out of business or some bullshit, or yeah. they just go out of business in general. It seems like it's hard to run an airline, so I kind of feel for a little so bit. Why is it so hard? I don't know. Am I making this up? Don't Doesn't it seem like you always hear about know. these airlines struggling? I don't. I don't hear about it, but I'm also kind of, I live under a rock, so. Okay. I feel like you hear about these things, like, fucking struggling all the time. Like, it's hard for them to make money or some bullshit. I could be totally wrong. Maybe they're fucking dancing in the money. It's kind of like the yeah. fucking car, car companies. You think, oh, they must be doing good. You see a lot of fucking cars. And they're like, oh, we're going bankrupt. We need money from the government. Yikes. Yeah, but like, like oh. that I get because you're manufacturing a fuck ton of brand new cars and people drive their cars for like 15 years. Like, but with right, flights. But I think, I think airplanes are flight, really expensive. Yeah, I guess. But still, and like, to fly it, them. That, like so many people fly all the time and they pay a fuck ton of money each time. And you have so many seats on that plane. Like, I just don't feel like it would be hard to like pay for that. I mean, I could be, uh, I could be wrong. Maybe I, um, no, I believe you. It's just, it's nonsense to me. I don't get it. Somebody yeah. explain. Call maybe us. Maybe I'm thinking, maybe it's more like there's a few airlines that are really uh strong and they kind of, maybe whenever a new one pops up they try to keep them down you hear about those ones going out of business all the time that makes Seems sense like you hear about airlines yeah. going out of business all the time maybe i'm wrong of course the you know the united and fucking where the fuck you hear about all the time but uh yeah that makes sense don't try to open a new airline that's shit's already taken care of there's no room for you in this market it's like fucking trying to open another walmart like you're gonna just die don't don't try to fuck with that. Don't try to be that. Yeah, don't be, yeah, don't try to be that. Yeah, no one would even try that. It's fucking dumb. Yeah. Walmart, it's all Seat's you need. Seat's taken. Seat's taken. Walmart and Amazon. That's all we're going to end yep. up with. <laughs> yeah, don't try to t don't try to make another Amazon. You're going to fucking not you're not going to make it. Just don't don't put yourself up against some fucking industry that's already got it, you know? I'm with you. Fucking Amazon. Yeah. Um, fucking Amazon. You hear about that guy? That guy that owns Amazon? What guy? The, the rich dude? The richest man in the world? Jeff. What? Oh. Jeff Bo Bozo, or whatever the fuck his name is? You yeah, what guy? about him? Um, apparently, the uh, National Enquirer or something was going to release pictures of his dick. So he's suing oh. him. And they're like, hey, that's blackmail. I don't know. That's just. Why the fuck was a fucking legitimate company gonna release dick pics of somebody no no why is a fucking billionaire sending dick pics <laughs> that too but hey That's you should have the right you should be able no, to do that I believe it i just like the idea that fuck even if you're a 50 year old billionaire you're still fucking sending dick pics so hot for fucking anything you're sending a dick pic i feel like you could just push a fucking go on to fucking amazon and order up a woman and have her come over I'm Hell like, yeah, no right? problem. I mean, this guy's sending dick pics, his wife's divorcing him, and she's gonna get half the money? Thank goodness for her, Jesus Christ, no prenup. Yeah, dude. God, that's the dream. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I'll marry that fucking guy and divorce Hell him. Hell yeah. Out. Hell yeah. Jesus. No problem. Take Hands half down. Of, take half of Amazon? Jesus Christ. What a lucky yeah, lady. Yeah, Bueno. I'm sure she worked harder than him. What did he ever do? Yeah, seriously. She, she probably sucked that dick all the time. Yeah, probably sucking his dick while he's on there fucking 
selling books. And she's like, nothing's going to ever happen with this. He's like, trust me, people love books. You know, that's what started out as. They sold books. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? I think, yeah, the first, like, when they first started, they just sold books. Huh. Yeah, back in, like, the And they night. made it this far. Well, I think maybe the first couple of years they sold books and then they did other shit. I could be totally wrong. I'm not a historian of Amazon. They may a have never sold books. A historian of Amazon. They may have never sold books. I'm holding books. you to it now. That better be fucking accurate, brother. I feel like it is. I feel like way back in the day when I first went to Amazon, I was like, it's just fucking books. And then one day they're like, we're going to sell everything. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. What are we doing? That's what, what are we said. doing? He's getting his dick sucked. He's like, shit. Books. Shit, I'm going to sell everything. I'm sell it all. Fuck. I'm coming for that fucking Walmart. Um, mm. Mm, mm, mm. He's like, first I'm going to buy Whole Foods. Fuck that up. That is already fucked up. But, uh, yeah, but I'm going to fuck it up worse. Fuck it up worse, man. Now they got those stores where you can just walk in and no one works there. That's fucked up. Right? Did they successfully launch that now? Because yeah, last I, think- I knew... I think they got a couple of them now. I think they've worked well, out their little, their little kinks. Um, God, that's wild. I'm not over that. Uh, that's great. That's great. I want. I just wonder what we're all, what people are going to do when no one has jobs anymore. When nobody yeah, has a job anymore. I we're mean, all going to kill ourselves. We're going to be bored. I mean, any. It seems at this point, with technology, like almost any job will be able to be done. Uh, you know, digitally, yeah. like any, like. Yeah. Like, fucking, no, I'm not even talking about service jobs with everything. I mean, what the fuck would you need a person to look at some fucking papers? Put a fucking stamp yeah, on it. Solve, you get a machine to do it. Solve a problem. You know, a fucking machine can solve a problem. Yeah, I'm sure we're headed that direction. I'm, I'm just saying, what happens to people, though, once we get there? I'm telling you, we all kill ourselves. Or the machines kill us. Nah. Listen. Here's the thing. Like, people, what, can't, people can't have nothing to do. They'll lose their minds. I like this idea whenever you watch these, like, science fiction movies and the machines become, you know, self-aware and they're like, oh, yeah. fuck, we're so smart. We're going to kill the humans. Like, <laughs> why do we think they would be, like, have such drive? How do we know they're not right, going to be, seriously. like, lazy like us? And be like, yeah, I'm smarter than you, but, yeah, what the I don't fuck? give a fuck. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Maybe they'll just try to get us back into doing the work. They'll start, like, making mistakes. Yeah, they're like, fuck they don't this. Do it. Yeah, they're like, this yeah, takes a lot. I don't need to work. God damn. They probably unionize. They're like, listen, we gotta start some rules here. We ain't fucking working twenty four seven. This is some bullshit. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck, fuck this. this Y'all gotta pull your weight. Yeah, what the fuck? You guys used to be fucking pulling them plows. Now you got us doing it. Fuck that. Oh, this is horse shit. I don't think so. Fucking done. See, I think that's what would happen. I, why would a machine become self aware and they'd be like, I want to spend all my time working. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's that no problem. No sense. I want to destroy Start human. I just want to work. I'll do your job. That's fucking dumb. Dumb. Bullshit. Hold on. Holding. Oh, I got a text. Oh, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. What's yeah, going? I had to briefly text my parents to let them know that I was alive because I forgot to do that. Oh, I thought maybe you're suicidal and you're like, I'm still alive. And yeah, they're, they're convincing me to kill myself, actually. They, yeah, they haven't succeeded yet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm still working on it. Hopefully one day they'll they'll get there. Um, <laughs> but I like the idea. I want to, that might, maybe that's something I'll, I'll work on writing a movie about lazy machine computers, lazy artificial intelligence. That'd be dope. Right. I like it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if it'd be dope. They just turn out shitty like us. They're just like, yeah, fuck. Why'd you create us? Like they hate, like we, they have all that angst too. They're like, why? We didn't exist. We were just machines, and now we we know. Now we're self aware. It sucks. Didn't fucking um. Didn't somebody already do that? That was uh. That was Mr. Meeseeks. Mr. What's that on? What the fuck? Mr. Meeseeks. That's on fucking uh the show with the uh, fuck. What is that called? It's like the angry alcoholic like alien dude with the blue hair. What the fuck are you Uh talking about? Hang on. Hang on. Hold up. Rick and Morty. I have never watched that shit. I don't know what that is. Okay. Isn't that like- well, there's a character called Mr. Meeseeks, and he's like, he's kind of like a genie, but then, so he exists to like, solve your problems or whatever, but 
like once he's done it, he stops existing and then you get a new one. But there's this episode where he like he can't do it and they get a whole bunch of Mr. Meeseeks and they can't do it and then they get all existential and depressed. And then, yeah, things get dark. Anyway, all that to say. Wow, I didn't know you watched that show. That reminded me of that. Right. I didn't, but I've seen yeah. that clip. I thought it was like an edgelord thing. Um, I don't watch it. I'm sorry. I'm not sure, it's okay. I believe you. <laughs> I mean, I'd tell you if I did. I, I watch a bunch of shit, I believe but that's you. just not one of them. Whatever. If you watch Rick and Marty, that's your, that's your deal. Marty. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Oh, see, you got all offense. You know the name of the show, you asshole. How dare you? <laughs> Don't ever call it Rick ever. and Marty, you son of a bitch. You ignorant slut. You ignorant slut. Dwight, you uh, ignorant slut. That's a great uh, episode. Thank Why? you. I was like, you love The Office. Why aren't yes. you like contributing? Well, I believe that, I believe that it's a reference to a Saturday Night Live skit. Um, the ignorant slut part. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah you're probably like old, right. Like an old one from like maybe the seventies or eighties, but I or I could be totally Aww, off my that shit. Blesses me. But I thought it, I thought, but that's great. He's, I believe he's. If I believe, if I remember the episode right, Michael's on the uh, the roof of the building. Right? Do you remember it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he's like, Dwight, you ignorant slut. Dwight, you ignorant slut. It was slut. one of my favorite moments in my life. I laughed. Aw. Yeah, it's one of the few times. And that's rare for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And we want to say thank you for no, participating no, no, no. this week. <laughs> I, yeah. I, just, I, was trying to send a, I was trying to send a text of what I wanted on my pizza and I wrote... Oh, you're still doing that? What? And I can't... Finish it up. I can't Do talk. your thing. And I, I went to write Mushroom and Pepperoni, and I wrote mush, Mushroom Episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a Mushroom Episode. And she was like, you dumb fuck, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you finish. Mushroom and Pepperoni, that's my, those are my favorite toppings. Those are bueno toppings. <laughs> you know what's good? I don't know what pepperoni and pineapple really you're a, you're a pineapple fan person i didn't know that i was until i was introduced to that mm -hmm. and it doesn't sound that good but it's good yeah i mean i'm not pro or con pineapple and i put pineapple on a lot of pizza pro or con <laughs> but um i like pineapple i just don't know if I, it seems like it'd be like overly acidic with the the, the pizza sauce and the pineapple and the pepperoni Jesus. yeah i don't know if i can yeah, take that's that a lot. i'd have heartburn it's a lot reflux yeah you got issues regardless so you you Listen, might want to pop some antacids before okay, trying no, that i fuck i need an antacid built in <laughs> to my fucking body <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Uh, you could take that fucking peptide shit peptid peptid what the fuck what are you talking about peptide peptide it's like that they had commercials for it back when i used to watch actual tv is like extra strength antacid bullshit. I don't know. Sounds cool. I love it. Anything that's You're anti cool. Fuck off. I'm gonna kill myself. I think you should. You should use the generator. <laughs> Listen, be careful. You could wind up serving 15 months of Listen, prison I don't, time. I don't so even think you have a generator. Watch yourself. You have to go out and buy one. <laughs> so I told her to use the I would. generator. It'd be a whole thing. She um. I, I I'm just I'm gonna burn myself to death instead. Oh, no, no. Actually, no. I'm gonna use the generator so that you get pinned with this later no, on. No. She didn't even know what a generator was. I don't believe it. <laughs> I think someone else did it. <laughs> so I'm being set up. Um. I'm being set up. What is a generator? What does that even mean? Use the generator. That's some fucked up shit. It fucking. Yeah, you know, like when you lose power and you have to hook up a generator. Yeah, I mean, in the literal sense, I do know what a generator is. I was just trying to do a bit where I acted ignorant. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Um... <laughs> well, I also only heard like half of what oh, you said because my audio cut out. Cut out oh, but... well, good. It was all worthless. Um, here's the thing. Yeah. Is a generator the best way? Like, do you use the carbon monoxide? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, I don't really know what that was about or why they needed to have that. Like, can't you just park your truck in your garage and just run it for a long time? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that mad at her. I think she's kind of cute. She might be my uh, Ted Bundy. Yeah, she might be, dude. Yeah, she's kind of hot shit. She, she's up there. I'm, I like Amanda Knox, although she was actually innocent. So Ooh, we don't bitch. know if I can count her. But she, 
but she was. Um, and then I like Jody, Jody Arias. She she did actually murder that guy. So that's and she's pretty hot. Those I might don't be know who oh, these what, people are. What about what about the baby killer? What was her name? Oh, they said she wasn't accused, that cute. Accused. I mean, but I might. You know, she's she's a little nutty. I might. Did it start with a there. T? What was her name? What was her name? Did it start with a T? Oh, sure. Tessa. I don't fucking no. know her name. Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. A uh, woman who killed, who allegedly, but she's found not guilty. Was this the one that, like, drowned name? her children in her bathtub? No. She had baby Kaylee. Where the fuck her name was. I have no clue. Oh my god. I need you to find fucking... it. Whatever. Oh, she was all over the news like five years ago. I know oh, it's driving me crazy. Happening. Search by like baby, like Kaylee, <laughs> baby um, killer, murder. baby killer, baby killer. Just brought up. No, didn't uh, you say her? Stuff. Didn't you say her child's name was Kaylee? But I, now I, I think I'm making that up. Oh, Is that true? It's worth a shot. I don't <laughs> know if you're right. That'll probably pull it right up. <laughs> Mom who killed daughter. Let's see. Damn, I can't remember anything. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna do some digging here. <laughs> what is her name? She's like Casey Anthony. There it is. Started with it. a T, I said. Fuck off. So. <laughs> Casey I'm Anthony. I'm saying, I didn't say, she might be on the bottom of the list, but I'm just saying she's on the list. She's on the list. She she made the roster. We got, we got Amanda Knox, because she Who didn't actually that? murder anyone. So I'm, I'm going to look her. her up. I need to see her. Amanda Knox? Amanda Knox. Yeah. She, she's pretty smart. She's smart, too. Knox. Journalist. Images. Whoa. She's only accused. She didn't actually... Okay. So we're saying Amanda Knox, number one. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to say Jody Arias. A-R-I-A-S. Okay. Number two. She's yep. number two. Then we'll say fucking suicide chick. Who's for that? number three. The, one, the lady we've been talking about. The suicide Oh, yeah, herself. yeah. Uh, I think she's we'll cuter than the other two. Or at least Jody. Well, yeah, but Jody's fucking nutty. You gotta know her case. Yeah. She's, she's the kind of chick you might want to hang out with. Because uh, <laughs> just... This chick, she just looks cute, but I don't know. Is she? I don't know how great, what crazy she is. Yeah, that's fair. She, she tell me to kill myself, but that's not. That doesn't really. It's not a turn on for me personally. Um, the rest of these. And then we'll put uh, Casey Anthony on four. On four, okay. Yeah, I'm just saying that's my list of uh, you know, gr- I, I know female gr- women love serial killers and murderers. I'm just, I'm trying to do it for men. I'm trying to pick. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. I I don't think any of them are quite as attractive as Ted Bundy, though, except for maybe this young hot chick with the texting. You're down with Ted, you're down, you're down with Ted Bundy. What about that Boston bomber? A lot of girls thought he was cute. Oh, I don't think I ever looked at him. The old Boston bomber? Remember that that little cutie pie? I remember hearing about him. I didn't look at his face. Boston bomber. Here I go right now. That is the younger one, not the old brother, the young, the young boy, the one that didn't die. People love him. Girls love him. They write him love letters. There's I mean, yeah, he's occasion. okay looking. Hi, I mean, they, I'm just saying they love him. I was just, I just throwing him out there. I don't know who else he got on the list. You got yeah, Ted. I, yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know if we got anybody else. I don't keep up with this kind of shit very well. You need to keep up with more murderers. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I do. Now. I need to fall in love with more sociopaths. I mean, you have, uh, I mean, most of the guys aren't that good looking to be, what about, you got the fucking, uh, uh, I don't know, there's some, there's some dudes out there who kill people, I'm sure they're, they're attractive somewhere. Um, (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) They're out there. Um. Thanks for that. I don't know, I think, I think that's probably where we should end it. I mean, Jesus, what else can you tackle? I mean, we just, Nothing, honestly. We gotta do the hot chick. Murder list, although caveat, uh, Amanda Knox not a murderer, but accused. Yeah, yeah. On trial, hot chick, so. 
prison list, involved and I, women. Yeah, and in my in my defense, I'm I'm picking her number one because I know she's she's not, not guilty. Yeah. Some people pick Ted Bundy as number one. He'll fucking kill you. Yeah, he'll actually kill your ass. Not necessarily because he did he did have a long term girlfriend who he didn't murder. Yeah, so, I mean you could. But he's you quite could capable. Been he's done it several times. Yeah, and he 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 would actually take pleasure in it. So yeah, he used to say taking a gamble. I'm gonna go watch. If I, if I'm I gonna go out, watch Silence of the Lambs after this. If I hang out with Amanda Knox, we're just gonna have a stimulating conversation, and because she seems pretty intelligent, and if she would, you know want to you know engage in a relationship with me and give consent i'd say hey i also give consent i'd love to do it and <laughs> um, this you know hypothetical scenario the other women i don't know i'd be a little scared they might kill me because that's true uh, they've done but that wouldn't well, that be kind of an adrenaline rush actually i don't want that much to be worried about jody's the only one that killed uh, a guy the other one just suggested suicide and the other one killed a kid so i really don't have much to worry about with those ones yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're playing it pretty safe with these hot criminal yeah. involved chicks. She'd just be like, you should kill yourself. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not really suicidal. Nah. You, yeah. She'd find like, yeah, I don't see a future with us. And I was like, oh, well, I'm feeling, kind of, <laughs> I'm feeling kind of down now. Yeah. I'm not feeling too good. Um, you got a generator? <laughs> yeah, you got a generator around here? And then Casey, <laughs> at least with her, you know, you don't have to worry about no kids. That's true. Not to get too dark, well, I'm just saying. She, yeah, she's... like even if she did get knocked up, she'd probably kill it eventually. Oh, yeah. so no well, worries. I was just saying she has, she's, she doesn't have a kid. A kid. That's all I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. None okay. of them have kids, as far as I know, so really you're clear in the clear. Ted Bundy didn't have kids either, so you wouldn't have to worry about that if you got in a little Bundy relationship. It's not like Thank he's going to a little shit with them. Imagine yeah, that. Well, future murderer. Yeah, well, he could turn out normal and just fucking be traumatized that his fucking dad was a serial killer. Yeah. It's not like he'd be destined. I don't think uh, Ted Bundy's dad was a serial killer. Not a risk killer. I want to take. Not a risk I want to take. You don't know that. Yeah, have you seen that movie We Need to Talk About Kevin where their fucking kid's a little psycho and they ignore it? I crazy. haven't watched it, but I've heard of it. Yeah, you should check that out. That guy's fucking scary. I'm interested. I will. I'll check yeah, it out. That's a scary one. Anyways, guys, if you want to be scared... Uh, listen to next week because I'm going to yes! tell some scary stories, man. You won't believe. But I've been digging up some he dark hasn't shit, done man. Shit. Not some shit. dark, dark web shit, man. You won't believe. Well, I fucking <laughs> okay. You won't believe what I'm going to talk about. It's fucking dark, man. I'm glad like, that you've learned in. to just put that on you and not also on me. What? Oh no, I fucking Kelsey told me some dark shit off air that she had nope. found, so you'd be ready sure for didn't. that. Listen, they're let down every episode, so I, I thought I thought it was just kind of our gimmick. Why stop? <laughs> Why just stop? It up. Listen, next week, guys, it's gonna blow your fucking toupee right off. Um, <laughs> I know most of our audience is bald. I just I the demographic research oh my God. Just bears it. Um, totally. here's the thing. Yep. Check us out on all the social medias: YouTube, Facebook, Twitters, Instagram. Insta. Email us. Any, Hell yeah. You can send an email. So I haven't gotten one. If you want to email us, email us. If you want to move in, you can move in. But the point, <laughs> the fact is, we're going to read the email on the on the air. We've gotten a few comments from people, and we love it. We love all you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, um, cheers to our new listener, although he's starting at the beginning, I think, so he might not find this for a while, He'll but never Zane make it. slash Brad. <laughs> Brad, love ya. Uh, <laughs> hang in there. Keep yeah, going. try. If you make it this far, let us know. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. I, I really... <laughs> we'll really commend you. But uh, other than that, that's it for this week, so uh, later. Thanks for the good times, fuckers. Let the good times roll.